Salutations, my friends, and welcome back to TNO in the last episode of us playing as Tomsk under Feinberg. So, last time we tried, we really, really tried to peacefully reunify Russia, but alas, it is not possible for us in this campaign. Uh, Salon Authority 28, 27, 27.1. Cool, whatever. Uh, we have 261 political power, 2.77 a day. Uh, nothing really here that I really care about. pro humanist campaign. We could, uh, get rid of some political outsiders. Greatly increases the cynicism. I mean, that'd be kind of okay with me. I don't really care at this point, though. Uh, popularity? No. Salon thinking. Increases idealism. Uh, actually, you know what? Just because we can, let's do this, I suppose, maybe? Because no matter what we choose, we lower our weakness ability. Do that one. And then, uh... There you go. Bribe the opposition, because we can. And what else? Prepare for war production. Well, we are going to strike Russia, so in one day, basically, yeah, in like 24 hours, we'll be at war. We're trying to improve our research here, and the Tom Bar plan, which we will finish up in this episode as well, even after we beat the enemy. And that is Yeltsin. Uh, but, let's see, someone recommended in the comments yesterday, there we go, that I fight, or uh, not fight, but I play as uh, that one nation, Samara. And I will, I totally will, I don't know when. I do plan on pretty much playing every single warlord possible. Okay, we won there. He says we could do really well. I guess we could try it. Okay, maybe not there. Maybe not here. Other than that, it looks like he's going pretty darn well. Um, yeah, not bad, not bad. 380,000 manpower, but yeah, we'll see. I do want to play as pretty much every Russian warlord that has a unique focus tree, so we'll get there. I promise we'll get there. It's just going to take a lot of time. Let's see. 155 losses. Holy crap! 40... Mmm! I mean, they have triple our divisions, roughly. They even have more factories than us, but... Their army... Um, wow, that's a lot of losses immediately. Of course, we are using 40 combat width, so that doesn't come too much as a, as a surprise. But, uh, all the smokerinos. I mean, they have so many divisions, but just because you have a lot of divisions doesn't mean they're very good. Boris Yeltsin, a uh, million things of oil, 122 divisions. I mean, we can't even see what they are over there, but whatever. Uh, anything else over here we could do? Got more passive defense just in case. Uh, Tom C. Bar plan. We've lost a little more than two years to do that still. Which is fine. Cool. And I'm just keeping an eye on that stuff for now. Peace conference. And we do want to take out Kazakhstan as well. So. Italian Empire is defeated. Oh, Ara Arabia. Oh, that's really cool. I doubt they have a unique focus tree. Yeah. Ah, hap oh. Happy smiling Italo Balbo is the leader of Arabia now. Oh. Okay then. Good. Just help him out. How many cow trees are we inflicting? Oh my gosh. That's so many. A quarter million? Oh, how? Okay, like we're, we're doing well, and we're not getting... We're doing a pretty good job on, like, air support, too, but Jesus Christ. Like, 40 combat widths are awesome. I mean, maybe it's the mechanized and tanks doing a great job, but even the infantry seem like they're doing pretty darn well as well, generally. But then, I mean, this tile is a little bit of an outlier just because there's so many enemies here. Your division templates must suck. My goodness. Holy crap! Boris Yeltsin, what are you doing? Sverdlovsk. We're approaching that. 17,000 losses versus over a third of a million. Ooh, son! Son, what is wrong with you? Well, this is great for us, because we need to get more GDP. But, uh, take one guy going there. I mean, look at those motorizing tanks. Just, they're just tr literally trucking into Boris Yeltsin's nation. Half a million have died. We've killed at least 30 divisions now. Engineer company is too great. Yeah, why not? Uh, it's 71. Grab some more recon. Sure. Even more recon for soldiers. Beautiful, my friends. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I mean, there's a comment from me from yesterday's video asking if I could like just use consequence to take out Moscow and the German sovereign th sovereignty th zone. I'm like, eh, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna use consequence because that could really screw things up here. Uh, right now, we need to do this. Let's reform the front line because maybe we got a lot of planning bonus. Maybe we did. So let's go and make sure we don't get encircled here, because their infantry is struggling to catch up. But my gosh, 522,000 casualties versus 31,000. Jesus Christ, that is so good. Oh, were they building? Oh, they were building infrastructure too. Nice. Build some stuff up here. Get build some more radar. Oh, house elections. We didn't lose anything. Great. Feels looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and do some more passive tests. We don't even have cryptology. Uh, invest more money. Yes, 71.5. Awesome. More than two thirds done, my friends. Just go ahead and get yourselves recentered for now. 
Uh, do we have a deficit of anything besides APCs? No. And that's nice. That is very nice. Oh, wow. We already have 20 factories on them. Let's go up to 5, I guess. Anything more? 21.5. GDP. Oh, no, hey, look, 97 million since we did capture a couple more factories. That's nice. That's very nice. Uh, concurrent frontal assaults. Awesome. Let's go ahead and grab this one. Wartime in industry, which doesn't really help us too much. It's only 100 days to get this. And makes us build factories even faster, but that's okay. You guys are still moving around. And they attack us. Interesting. Oh, that's not ideal. Eh, if you lose there, so be it. Let them attack us. Let them waste their men on our line. And we don't have enough command power to say no. Oh, it's Laos. Cool. Uh, losses are probably incurred. Quite oh, wow. That made him get. They received 60,000 more casualties that way. Gosh dang. Oh. Nice. Oh, we're shooting him down. Nice. Air support. And do we have signal companies on our guys? <clears throat> we do. We actually do. That's awesome. 40 combat widths. You know what? Since we have them, we might as well put logistic companies on these guys too. Just in case. We should have enough support, co support equipment for this, so. Nice. Yep, we got 4,000. Alright. Give it a few more moments, because I want to give them as, as much planning opportunities as possible. Oh, we were on military austerity as well? Oh, God. 14 billion. Oh, no. Um, There you go. Less than 14. I don't know. Oh, now we only have 7, which is fine. Whatever. Passive defense. Cool. Global training centers. I don't really care. Alright. Give it a few more seconds. Actually, do we have any more planes we can throw on? Not really. Not really. That's fine. Uh, do you not have orders or something? Why? Can I cover... Oh, that makes sense. Can't cover the army because you need air bases down there. Alright, give it three, two, and... Let's go ahead. I mean, the motorized and tanks are just will do great. We're already at the Urals. Holy crap. All the way over here. Jesus. Now that's nice. Losses. I'm expecting over 700... 800,000! Oh my gosh. I mean, look at those casualties. They have 93 divisions left. This is why I make... This is why I always preach in TNO. You want to have a good army. A great... Even if it has to be small army. Just because you have a big army doesn't mean it's good. Uh, increases idealism. Ah, I do that one because we don't need stability, right? Yeah, we could use still some more stability. Consolidate humanist rule because why not? Oh my gosh, we just killed so many right there. Yeah, maybe we can't get any more stability. Maybe we should stop doing that. Yeah, I should probably stop lowering my stability. <laughs> Over a million dead. Boss Yeltsin, what have you done to your nation? 75 divisions? No. We killed all their manpower off. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Wow, there's a lot of towns around here. I guess this is Russia. What do you expect? Especially um, Western Russia. Samara? Oh, that's where Samara is. Uh, let's close this so I don't get tempted anymore. And, yes. 78, hey, 78%. Done, nice. 1.5 every month, which is okay, not great. Oh, yeah. How close are they to capitulating? Not that close. 1.12, 67 divisions. We got resource extraction 3. Ah, that's so good. Let's grab some oil processing because we can't, even though we don't need the oil. Actually, we could use a little bit more oil, but I'm really doing this for the fuel, maybe. 109 billion in terms of GDP. Invest to get 3% more. 82.5% done, my friends. Oh, this is nice. Global training center is cool. Do some economy stuff for now. That'd be great. Actually, can we give him a uh, spy master? No. Th an agency with three different branch upgrades to become a spy master, and it have to be in a faction. Oh, that sucks. Anything else? Eighty-two point five percent. God dang. That's so many dead. We have almost more divisions than they do now. Oh, it's so close. Come on, keep going, keep going. One hundred forty factories. We have more than them now, which is great. I do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, though. Doesn't seem like it's switching around. That's okay. That's okay. Beat the crap out of them. This is why I almost never use anti-tank. Uh, usually, if you have enough close air support or ground support, you can do pretty well. But God. Oh, we have more divisions than them now. Great. I just want to invest more money. I want to invest more money to here, too. Please. Reunification of Russia will be great. And we will, we still have to intervene in Kazakhstan, which is awesome. Oh no. Oh no. Almost 20 billion. Holy crap. That's t way too much. Yeah, we're spending way too much money. Gosh dang, social democracy, you're expensive. Oh no, no, no. Ah, but regardless, hope you're having a good day. 
I'm, with this current video, I'm having a great day. I'm loving this. Like, boss Yeltsin, I, I, I will play as Yeltsin. I'll play as pretty much, like I said earlier, every single Russian warlord, as long as they have unique focus tree. Um, but there's so many, and I, I, to a degree, I'm kind of waiting for <clears throat> an update to happen. Oh, uh, if you want to read about this, go right ahead. Even though, technically, we already got that before, so... Um, better signal companies? Why not? Uh, yeah, we already have the best research, actually. God dang, look at that. We already have cutting-edge research. We are already at the best. Holy cr See, that's what I'm talking about, like, in the last video. If you could, like, go past your highest level, just increase it by, like, maybe... 2%, 2.5%, I think that'd be kind of cool. Just because it makes sense, because your research keeps getting better and better and better, maybe to a degree. It's not going to always be perfect, 100%, or, you know, but, I don't know. I'm thinking just a small, minor, maybe national spirit that could be removed later on if you lose research buffs and stuff like that. I don't know, just some of my thoughts. We're going to Arkhangelsk. God, I wish, we, I wish we could go to war with Moscow Authority. Italy requires nuclear weaponry, and so the clock moves closer to midnight. The clock. Are you referring to someone else here? Uh, even though he's gone, Comey's gone. It is what it is, but still. Boris Yeltsin, oh my goodness. You had such a great opportunity. This is why we didn't want war. We wanted to have peacefully reunify, but you made me kill every single one of your people. They're 7 2, they're 20 combat width, and we're still demolishing them. I, I don't understand, man. I don't. Uh, lower it by once, so, so it does not cost as much, but. Do they think that we didn't want war because we think we would lose? I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> My goodness. Wartime industry, very nice. Very good. Um, air doctrine. Oh, we haven't done this at all. Air superiority, air supremacy. I like supremacy. Let's try that. Ah, huh, cool. I've never done it in the air doctrine yet in TNO because there really has never been a real important option or reason for us to do that, so... Tom Seabot plan. 85% done. By the time we take out Kazakhstan, we'll probably have to wait just a little bit longer to get it finished, but that's okay with me. I don't mind spending a little bit extra time with this video, just because it's not going to be that long, compared to my other videos. Ooh. We've killed over 100 enemy divisions. That's insane. That is just booty insane. I'm not really sure what to say about that. <clears throat> you know what? Slash military spending, too. We don't need that, actually. We can take a uh, hit to our attack. Go ahead, go there. You just stay there, though. And then you... Just just, oh, just running over divisions. God, I love tanks so much. 18 kilometers per hour. Oh, God, it feels good to be a Siberian. Especially under Weinberg. Oh, oh yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just sad. This is just so sad. But you know what's even more sad? That our guys aren't moving. Go, 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 go. Come on. You can't expect the tanks and motorized to do all the work for, for us. Come on, man. Hey, we, look, we actually have a surplus of uh, APCs now. Awesome. 76%. Close that. Uh, hey, are, we got more uh, humanist popularity. That's cool. Let's get another campaign going, because we can do it. Open district map. Hey, we have all of Tomsk. We got a good chunk of Kemerovo and even a little bit more Krasnoyarsk. But no one in Novo Sibirsk really cares for us that much. It is what it is. Discredit opponent in Kazakhstan? Well, the only opponent they're going to have is me. So, probably not. A little bit of lag. Are they going to capitulate? Hopefully soon. 500 political power. 86.5% done. Come on. Ooh. I'm going to remove 10% more infrastructure. Great. Got it. Like I said before, I really enjoy TNO. It's probably becoming one of my favorite mods uh, for Hoi 4. Really, really enjoy it. You know what? I never choose this. Let's do Winter Expert because it's June. We'll need to become a Winter Expert eventually. So, over here, organization or reinforce rate. Uh, let's get a reinforce rate. Make sure we have enough strength at all times or as much strength as possible. Guerrilla Fighter. Cool. You guys are still slowly moving in, but that's fine because we need to spend some time. Oh, man. Study foreign reactor designs? Sure, why not? That sounds great. Oil processing? <clears throat> I don't know what's up about my voice, though. Like, every time I want to record TNO, my voice gets more scratchy. I'm not, like, recording it in the morning, but, you know, 
Maybe it's just the TNO effect. The TNO effect. You get a scratchy voice because you read about all the horrors that you learn about and what happens to the mod. Maybe. Probably not. But maybe. 88% done. Nice. 93% done. Awesome. Monthly progress gain by 2%. Awesome. Good, good, good. Vyatka. Oh, Vyatka. My first Russian warlord I played in TNO when I knew nothing about the mod. Ah, oh, fun campaign. My biggest gripe with the Vyatka. Hey, we did a great job. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff. We can integrate. Let's lower our weekly stability and get more political power. Call me first, though. Um, yeah, the only biggest, my biggest problem with them is for Vyatka. They have no manpower. That's probably my biggest gripe. 143 billion uh, in terms of GDP and debt. Hey, not bad. 12 billion is not bad. Civilian spending. My gosh, that is. Wow. <sighs> Reunify the motherland, my friends. We might as well get a research lot. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to take out the Kazakh Socialist Republic first. We're going to do that first. I'm not going to do anything else but that. Cool. So we're going to war these guys first. Integrate all this territory under us. And then we'll proclaim uh, the goodness. Because in my mind, reunify the motherland, that includes Kazakhstan. At least just in my mind. That's just... Oh... We get zero political power today. Wow, look at all that. We're trying to integrate. But, uh, yeah, just in my mind, it just makes sense. Because if we go to war with them after we create Russia, that means we're being very aggressive, and that establishes what is core Russian territory. If we take out Kazakhstan first, and then we proclaim Russia, that means, at least to us, that, uh, we, that Kazakhstan is a rightful piece of territory of Russia, so... It's all about diplomacy and politics and crap like that, so... It's very good. And 12 billion. 12.19. It's just civilian spending. And military spending is a big chunk of it, but my goodness. No we'll integrate places soon enough. But once we get... Oh, we actually lost some. Oh, we actually lost some political power. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Advanced development, development, yeah, go and do that. Nice. We can do all other stuff now. Don't really want to spend more political power because I do want to go to war with Kazakhstan. So, oh, there we go. We're getting a bunch more now. Uh, monthly progress gain, monthly progress gain. Let's see, that takes a year. Let's do that one first. And I'll do all this stuff first. That's fine. Signal companies. Just let time go on. It really doesn't matter at this point. Uh, main battle tanks cool. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's just six two. Why not? Sounds like fun. Let's go ahead and do all this stuff. Adds more to the debt. Adds more to the debt. Whatever. 90.5%. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. 900,000 manpower. Oh, so good. So good. And we get 2.74 political power day. Reunify the motherland. We will, we will, we will. Tom C. Ba plan. Beautiful. And Kazakhstan will be an easy, easy pushover. Because last time we saw it, they only had like five divisions. Yeah, they still, they still only have five divisions. Nope. It just slash five billion from the uh, GDP or potential debt, the deficit. Whoa, oh, words hard. Ooh. Moderate four percent a month. That's fine. Uh, we'll integrate this. I do want to go to war with Kazakhstan first, though. I would always keeping an eye down here. Ninety point five soldiers looking great. Two point seven four. Come on. Alright, let's go ahead and go to war. Military intervention, decrease the poverty. Hey, we've already read this before, but hey, this is great. A toast to our economists. Great. And actually, hey, look at that. That's even better. 7.9 billion? I mean, it's not great at all. Don't get me wrong. I don't like this. But, uh, hey, that's better than what we had before, so. I will gladly take it. And let's go ahead and get Omsk next to integrate. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. We have about 70 more days. That's fine. The Russian Federative Republic gets the event, the invasion of Kazakhstan. I mean, that's nice, honey, but Tomsk rules over almost all of Russia. I wish, I wish that there was content for us and abil ability for us to take out, like, the rest of Russia. The actual rest of good parts of Russia, but we must wait. We must wait. We must wait. That's why I don't want to play as every warlord too soon, because the content that might come out just... I don't, I'm not sure what it'll bring, but it'll be a lot of fun, I, I, I bet. It'll be interesting. Maybe even horrifying in some parts, but it should be quite a bit of fun. 
and that's why I want to save some of the warlords for later. Uh, some of the bath paths, like Comey and Mr. Clockman and Taboritsky and the brother Aryan Brotherhood, Magadan, uh, Irkutsk sounds like fun as well. Uh, who doesn't love the NKVD? Who doesn't? Maybe maybe it's victims. But that's just me. 92% of the way there. Nice. Very good. And let's go Zlatost. Zlatost. Next. 2.47. Beautiful. There you go. And 2.46. Come on. Just give me more ability to make a mega city. You know what? We're still going to slash the budget. Nope. No money for you. Global force. Cool. Uh, let's see. Mutual exclusive. Helicopter? We're not really using helicopters. I'm definitely not using that stuff. Maybe I chose the wrong one. Uh, instead, let's go ahead and choose... Ooh, ooh our better artillery? Yes, better artillery. Uh, that's why it's so good upgrade artillery and stuff like that. Oh, there we go. 896? Yes. Yes. Oh, we're getting close, my friends. We're getting close. Kazakhstan shall be part of us once again. And let's get S Sverdlovsk next. Good. Come on. Rubber processing. Uh, grab that one. Resource extraction for it. Even though we probably don't need it too much. Yeah, we don't get any more rubber. That's fine. Whatever. But it's always nice to have. As an option. Over a million in manpower. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And integrate Akongolisk, free military factories. Jesus, we have so many factories. There you go. And then... Oh, we could do more. I'm not really sure. I'm really not sure because this is one of the few campaigns where we actually have enough of whatever we need. Like, I don't need to build any more military factories. We haven't needed to really build that many more military factories. Which is kind of odd in my mind. Usually we don't have enough. But then again, I guess this is the end game. So maybe we got a little more than two weeks to go to war, which is awesome. There you go. There you go. I love infantry. Logistics too, even better. And then more signal companies. Might as well. See, the last Russian warlord, real Russian warlord, wasn't the last person we need to take out. It is actually Kazakhstan. Yes, in a week, we can go to war. Hey, 27.6. Hey, we, you know what? We still end with the most popularity out of everyone here. Is that even more support? Maybe not. But nice. That's actually really good for us. Uh, consolidate humans rule. Nah, we good. Bye-bye. Two days, two days, two days. Oh, nine, nine. Oh, come on. 99% done. There we go. We got a war. Okay, we got even more. God dang it. This is too many things. I don't know what to do with all this. Don't spoil me with such so many... So many factories. <laughs> I don't get used to it. Oh, I forgot to take guys. Go, there you go. Oh, <clears throat> I spent the entire time talking and not realizing that I didn't give him any planning bonus. How stupid am I? Not that stupid. Just forgetful. Just forgetful. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. We're so almost done. Almost done with that stuff. Bye, bye, Kazakhstan. Goodbye. But welcome, welcome, Kazakhstan. Welcome. Pro humanist campaign. Eh, we'll save our political power. We don't really need to do that. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. We got it done. We got it done. Tomsi Bar plan? Or Tomsi Bar. Yeah, Tomsi Bar. Tomsi Bar. Come on. It was a new month. It's a new month. Come on. What the heck? Mega City or Mega Project Progress has reached 100%. If not completed within a little more than a year, humanist popularity shall decline sharply, and cynicism will sharply increase. Ooh. When your artillery just doesn't hit it hard enough, give it more boom. Ooh, Tom C. Bar plan. Yes. Yes. If that's the case, 28.8. That's too low. I'm actually surprised. I didn't, I was planning with this campaign, like, if I really screwed up, I, I thought I was going to really screw up, and I had to go back and replay sections of this, but this is one of the campaigns where I didn't actually have to. We were doing pretty well throughout the entire thing. So I didn't actually have to play this off screen really at all, which is kind of nice. Except for that one year because there was nothing going on, which was fine. But, like, I didn't screw up. And we actually got all the elections we wanted done the first time, which was great. <sighs> there we go, my friends. There we go. Please give me an event for this. Please, 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 please. And, oh, we need to integrate all these pieces. That's fine. 
and reunify the motherland, my friends. We get another research slot. And the formation of the Commonwealth of Russia has been achieved. Svoboda, Svoboda, Ravenstvo, and Bratstvo. Beautiful. The war brought great sorrow and made life very, very hard, but it had been even harder before the war because then everyone was alone in his sorrow. A Russian symphony. Beautiful. No, that technically ends the campaign here. Thank you for playing. Thank you for the. Thank you to all the devs who made this. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I want to at least get to that last event though before we sign off. Uh, artillery, even though we can't kill anyone else off. Oh, actually, I want to take out these guys, but God, I wish we could take these guys out. I really wish we did, could. I just want to kill them all off. I wish we could do this. But come on, give me the event. I want the event. Alright, we should hopefully get it. If not, then that kind of sucks. Uh, maybe we gotta, maybe we got to wait another month. Maybe that's, that's probably it, right? Because we've got to make one mega city. That's so much land you have to connect. That's insane. That sounds amazing, a mega city like that. Oh. 12, nope. Hey, 5.5, we're doing better and better. Hey, look, our GDP actually went up too as well once we took out Kazakhstan. We're only minus 1.2 when compared to our interest rate. We have double our debt for now, but you never know. It is December 1st. Come on, let me do something here. I want a Tom C. Bar plan. Please tell me it's going to do something. I'm going to wait till the next month. That'd be fine with me, but... Please? Please? 28.8. Still looking good. Hey, we got some more support down in Kimarobo. Nice. Very nice. Please. I am just a simple person who likes to reunify Russia. Can we please have a vent? I want to see what happens. Or is this just building up the infrastructure? Actually, what, what is Germany up to? Bowman, Mr. Balding. Das Entscheidungsnetzwerk. Oh, okay, cool. Commissariat. Oh, hello. Leibrand. Leibrand. Flange Spain. He looks kind of happy. America is led by LBJ. Uh, Department of the Army. Leader of the Free World. Please. Can I have a vent? Can we have a vent? 2 million manpower. 417 factories. Oh, we we're, we're ran out of things to build, too. Uh, are you guys up for attrition at all? No? Okay. Train if you need to, because some of these guys are still new. So, please. It's almost 73. It's almost 73. If it doesn't happen by 73, then, well, I assume that there's probably no event. Um, that's actually really kind of disappointing, because we could have hurt our popularity by quite a bit. But I know Russia is still not done. Come on, just give it a few more days, and then we'll see. Hmm. Come on, let's get to Kurilsk. Gains core in two places, which is awesome. We did end up getting a lot of air XP and a lot of army XP, and even a little bit of naval XP, which is kind of nice. All right, well, it is January 2nd, 1973. We've made it this far. I have a feeling that it'll never fire, which is really, really disappointing, I'll say. Yeah, I... Oh, military austerity? Yeah, no thanks. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's really disappointing. I know... Hey, we actually gained support for the humanists. Awesome. I know, like I said earlier, Russia's not fully done yet, but... At least this mega city. Why, why can't we have a mega city? Please, please. Open district. Cool. But I guess that's probably where we're going to leave it. I mean, there's not really anything else we can do. Um, but maybe eventually it'll happen. But I really doubt it. So, regardless, I hope you enjoyed the campaign. If you did, consider leaving a like because I really enjoyed it. I'd like the video if I were you. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all in another campaign and hopefully another TNO campaign. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.